Hi friends, we at Applied Roots and Applied AI Course are very happy to announce a blogging competition called as a Blogathon. Again, you can find all about this Blogathon by just going to our homepage, which is AppliedRoots.com. And on the homepage at the very top, you'll see this Blogathon. By clicking on this, you will arrive at this page. Again, as most of you might already know, blogs, especially technical blogs, are a great way to showcase your work. Again, you can explain a concept in foundational mathematics like statistics or in data science, machine learning, deep learning, whatever concept you want to explain in depth and in detail using diagrams, uh, similarly using code snippets, nice visualizations. You can explain a concept very well through a technical blog. Similarly, you can also use a blog to explain the project that you have done, that you have done end to end, right? So blogs are again a great way for you to showcase your breadth and depth of knowledge to potential recruiters and also your peers, right? So the purpose of this whole Applied Roots Blogathon 2021 is to encourage more and more machine learning enthusiasts and machine learning engineers to write good, high quality technical blogs. This Blogathon is open to everyone, including our course enrolled students. Again, the Blogathon itself has prize money worth two and a half lakhs. The Blogathon starts right away from today itself. And the last date to submit your blogs is June 30th, 2021, right? All of the blogs that are submitted, I'll show you how to submit the blog in a couple of minutes, but you can find all the details about the competition on this page itself. Again, all of the blogs submitted are reviewed by our panelists who are expert machine learning scientists and engineers across the world. And what we are looking for are three fundamental things. One is the clarity of explanation that you have provided in the blog, the comprehensiveness of the blog itself. For example, if you're trying to explain a concept or if you're explaining a project that you've done, how comprehensively and exhaustively have you explained it? Please understand that there should be no plagiarism in the blog. Again, all the blogs, code snippets, diagrams, everything that you provide, we will cross check them for plagiarism using web search itself so that you, so that nobody copies any of the blog, either text, images or code snippets from elsewhere. So please make sure that there is no plagiarism. Be truthful to yourself. Of course, we'll also check via plagiarism, but try and write good, high clarity or very detailed blogs, which are also comprehensive. Again, we also talk about what to write in a blog. You can write about any concept related to machine learning, data science, statistics, uh, productionization of models. It could be anything. Just make sure that the blog itself has at least thousand words. Again, you can write the blog on any platform of your choice. You can even write it on, a, on your own website. You can write it on popular blogging platforms like Medium, WordPress, or you can just write it on a Google Doc, convert it into a PDF and submit it to us. Just make sure that if you're writing on a blogging platform or on your own website, just make sure that the URL is publicly accessible to everyone, including us so that we can read the blog and review it carefully. So at the end of this blogging competition, all the winners would get a recognized certificate from Applied Roots, right? So again, everybody who has participated will also get a participation certificate in this blogging competition. And every, all the winners also will get a part, uh, will also get a winner certification. Again, there is also prize money just to encourage more people to participate in this. The first prize has a prize money of 50,000 rupees. The second prize 25,000 rupees. The third prize 15,000 rupees. Fourth prize 4,000 rupees. Sorry, a fourth prize 5,000 rupees. Fifth prize also 5,000 rupees. From sixth to 30th positions, 4,000 rupees each. 31 to 50 positions, 2,500 each. Again, we are trying to give prizes to as many people as possible, but of course, giving higher prize monies and prize amounts to the toppers. Again, please understand that the judgment of the panel is final and absolute. Again, some of the good blogs that you have written, we will also showcase them so that they reach a wider audience. Now, coming to submitting a blog, you can submit the blog multiple times. You can edit your blog. You can keep updating your blog throughout this period. All blogs that we receive by the end of June 30th, which means the midnight of June 30th, right? Or in the early hours of uh, uh, July 1st, we will take everything till June 30th, midnight, 11, 59, 59. 
right midnight right so we will take all blogs which are submitted you can submit multiple blogs that's perfectly all right you can submit a blog and submit edits to the blog also keep submitting as as long as you are updating your blog we will only take the most recent version of your blog for review i hope this is clear again any questions you have anything that you are not sure of just reach out to us you can call us on this phone number so that one of our teammates can help you clarify your doubts cool now as far as submitting itself is concerned you can just click on this button it will ask you to just create an account on applied routes as soon as you do that it will give you this simple form you just have to fill in your name email address phone number the blog url if you are writing a blog on a platform like medium or blogger or your own website just please plug it in here make sure this blog url is uh, is visible to everyone if you don't want to submit a blog url if you want to submit a pdf file you can also click on the choose file upload the file that you have and submit it i hope this is clear again now you might wonder hey what are some of the good blogs can you give us an idea of what are good blogs so that we can be inspired from them so here are some very nice blogs some of these blogs we also use in our course and we also refer to them in our course so this is a nice blog i'll also provide links to these blogs in the description section of this video so there is this blog called distill.pub this this is a slightly older blog blog but a very good blog from 2016 this is about how to use a tsni effectively now the beauty of this blog is everybody knows about tsni this blog doesn't go too much into the mathematical details of tsni but it shows how tsni works on different types of data sets so there are different types of data sets as you keep changing various hyper parameters like epsilon perplexity etc how does tsni change very nice really practical blog and how those parameters actually impact the shapes of the final uh, final projections or final embeddings that you get very very nicely written blog fairly exhaustive very nice very beautifully explained concepts right so this this is this is one brilliant blog that i've seen again there are a lot of brilliant people who have uh, who have contributed to this including the team at google brain team right cool so if you want another example so this is a very nice blog from andre karpathy who talks about the unreasonable effectiveness of recurrent neural networks the good thing again andre karpathy if i'm not wrong is now a director of research at tesla and he was at open ai earlier he, he wrote this blog while he was a phd student at stanford now this blog is very good because Andre actually talks about a lot of recurrent neural networks again this was the early days of recurrent neural networks becoming popular so he talks about various problems explains these concepts visually but most interestingly he writes code from scratch he explains how the rnn computation itself works using simple code very easy to understand code very easy to understand clear diagrams very clean easy to understand text and most importantly he looks at various actual examples of what can be generated using this rnns and he also talks about the detailed analysis of why these texts were generated again you can read this whole blog very very well written blog with detailed visualizations and understanding of how rnns are working internally including some very nice code okay so another very nice blogger and i mean something that we have used extensively in our course also is this blog by j alamar very nice blog again the, his blogs are typically very illustrated very diagram heavy but he explains concepts like bert elmo etc in lots of detail very nice way of unpacking a complex concept like bert and explaining it step by step these are visually slightly heavy but these diagrams are simple to draw in any tool of your choice including microsoft word or powerpoint or google google docs they're very simple diagrams you can draw them anywhere the way th he explains the way j explains these blogs explains con concepts again he doesn't go too much into code but he explains them very neatly using clean and easy to understand diagrams so this is a this is one other blog that you can take inspiration from please check it out cool if you want more blogs again uh, you can go to towards data science which is a collection of blogs by different people across the world some of the best blogs that i've encountered on towards data science are just go to towardsdatascience.com you'll see this medium like ui go to deep dives here you have detailed blogs which go into more in depth 
explanation of concepts. Those are very good. Similarly, you can also go to editor's picks. These blogs might be shorter, but these are picked by the editors to be interesting blogs, right? So again, if you go to deep dives, you'll see like, you'll see tons of very nice, well-written blogs. You can take a lot of good inspiration from them. I hope that this Blogathon 2021 competition inspires a lot of machine learning learners to participate and to write good blogs. I hope the blogs that we have just shown now will also inspire you to write really good technical blogs. All the very best. Any questions you have, feel free to reach out to us on this phone number. Thank you very much. I hope everybody participates. Again, if you have friends whom you think might be interested in participating in this Blogathon competition, please share this video with them because we want as many people as possible to participate and write good blogs.